Welcome. My name is Christoph. And my name is Tobias. We would like to talk about our research, which is focused on an intelligent bed that allows the measurement of vital signs without any user interaction, which means the user simply needs to lie in bed without attaching anything to his or her body. First, the bed automatically detects the presence of a person and starts measuring heart rate. We can see that when a patient enters the bed, heartbeats are detected and the computed heart rates are shown without any further delay. This works independently of the subject and his or her posture or position in bed. In our research prototype, we utilize multiple different sensing approaches to achieve reliable and robust vital signs measurements. On the one hand, we detect the mechanical vibrations caused by the beating of the heart, the so-called ballistocardiogram or BCG. On the other hand, capacitive electrocardiogram, CECG and optical sensors are used. In this prototype, the BCG is measured by this thin film sensor, which can be placed underneath the mattress and which registers even the tiny vibrations caused by the circulation of blood. Sophisticated signal processing methods enable the robust and reliable extraction of heart rates from these vibration signals. In addition to the BCG sensor, an array of integrated capacitive ECG and optical electrodes are used. These custom-designed sensors allow ECGs to be measured in a variety of positions through an automatic electrode selection method, which finds the best pairs of electrode to use at any given time. Besides an ECG, these sensors also record blood pulse signals via infrared sensors integrated into the electrodes. The sensors can also be connected to an embedded bedside unit for robust signal fusion and heart rate display. Of course, such sensor systems are not immune to motion artifacts. That's why our system automatically detects any distortions, as seen on the left screen, and excludes them from the heart rate computation. This works equally for both utilized sensor types. Thanks for watching. To wrap it up, here are some of our papers on the topic.